the thing that I was looking at in my workshop was that increasingly clients are looking to prove the value or the worth of the programs that they're running. Traditionally, what people have been looking for is to be able to measure this in terms of pounds, in terms of euros, in terms of dollars. And the point that I was trying to get across was that in a rapidly changing world, increasingly value, although it's ultimately going to result in increased sales, or possibly more funds for a charity, or maybe for a government or an NGO changing consumer behaviour, it's not necessarily relevant these days to actually translate that into pounds, euros or dollars. So it's really about consumer response. It's how do people respond to the activities and the programmes that the organisation is driving. And that's what really we're about. On top of that, increasingly what we're having to do is very sophisticated analysis. And ironically, the more sophisticated the analysis, the more simple we have to make the presentation. So we're also going to look at how we can help organisations to engage with their clients so that they can understand some of the complex things that we're trying to do. And in effect, that's basically what we're going to be doing. How can value be defined? You might not agree with me, but I would certainly argue never, ever, ever as an advertising equivalent, which hopefully people would, would agree. Can it be defined as raising awareness? Delivering messages, positioning, generating response, I think that's a fairly obvious one, driving sales of course and achieving business objectives. That last one I think is really critical. The point about all those things really is that ultimately what they all boil down to is consumer behaviour. Whether that's in terms of consumer response, whether it's in terms of consumers clicking on a like button on Facebook, whether it's in terms of consumers doing a Google search, whatever it is, they're all, they can all be captured by consumer behaviour.